Here are the top local stories you need to know as you get ready to start your day. Your Friday morning rush starts right now. The family of 19 year old Stephen Smith, they're moving forward with plans for a second independent autopsy with SLED investigators present. This comes nearly eight years after Smith was found dead in Hampton County. SLED is now investigating his death as a homicide. The initial coroner's report from 2015 ruled his death as a hit and run. Well, making headlines at the state house, lawmakers heard hours of testimony on bills aimed at stopping transgender students from accessing certain health care treatments. Under one measure, minors would be banned from receiving medications like hormones or gender affirming surgeries. Another bill would prohibit people from changing the sex on their birth certificate. The panel will hear more public testimony on Wednesday before voting on the legislation. State Comptroller General Richard Ekstrom is resigning. This comes after his office made a multi billion dollar accounting error over the past several weeks. House lawmakers took action to reduce his salary while senators talked about removing him from office. Ekstrom had stood firm, refusing to quit until yesterday. His last day in office is scheduled for Friday, April 28th, with his resignation taking effect at the end of the month. Well, that is your Friday morning rush for details on these stories and so much more. Just head to our web channel, WLTX.com. You can also find the very latest on the free News 19 app.